Are we alone in the universe? It's a question that has tickled our curiosity for centuries, a mystery that seems as vast as the cosmos itself. From the ancient Greeks gazing at the stars to modern scientists scanning the skies, the possibility of extraterrestrial life has always been a topic of fascination. Theories abound, some grounded in hard science, others in the realm of pure speculation. As we delve into the heart of this grand enigma, remember, every journey starts with a single step. Let's dive deeper into our cosmic neighborhood to explore this further. Life, as we understand it, requires specific conditions. It's a delicate balancing act, a symphony of elements and circumstances choreographed to precision. Consider water, that ubiquitous molecule, H2O. It's the universal solvent, the cradle where biochemistry happens. Then there's temperature, not too hot that water vaporizes, not too cold that it freezes solid. Just right in a range where biological processes can thrive. Next, the availability of certain chemical elements plays a vital role. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. The building blocks of life. These elements combine in myriad ways to form the complex molecules that make up living organisms. We talk about the Goldilocks zone, that sweet spot in a star's orbit where conditions are just right for life as we know it. It's not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist. So if these conditions are rare, does this mean life is rare too? Scene script, enter the Drake equation. This equation, proposed by Frank Drake in the early 60s, is a scientific attempt to estimate the number of technological civilizations in our galaxy, the Milky Way. It's a fascinating blend of science and speculation, and it's been sparking debates and stoking imaginations for over half a century. Let's break it down. The Drake equation multiplies together seven factors. The first three are fairly certain. The rate of star formation, the fraction of those stars with planetary systems, and the number of planets per system that could potentially support life. But then, things get a bit murky. The next three factors are less certain. The fraction of those planets where life actually develops, the fraction where intelligent life emerges, and the fraction of civilizations that develop technology detectable across interstellar distances. These are areas where we simply don't have enough data yet. The final factor is the length of time such civilizations can communicate. This is the most uncertain of all, ranging from a pessimistic few decades to an optimistic few million years. Adding up all these factors, the Drake equation gives us a wide range of possibilities. It points to a universe that could be teeming with technologically advanced civilizations, or one where we are the lone voice in the cosmic dark. The Drake equation gives us a wide range of possibilities, from we are alone to we are surrounded. Science doesn't stand still, and neither does our search for extraterrestrial life. In recent years we've made some strides that have astounded even the most seasoned experts in the field. Let's start with exoplanets. These are planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. A handful of these exoplanets have been found in what's called the habitable zone, the Goldilocks region, not too hot, not too cold, but just right for life as we know it to potentially exist. Then there's Mars. Recent missions have detected signs of what could be microbial life. While it's not little green men, it's a start. Lastly, consider Oumuamua, our first known visitor from another star system. This cigar-shaped object shot through our solar system in 2017, leaving scientists to ponder if it was a natural phenomenon or something more. These discoveries make the universe appear less lonely. So, are we alone in the universe? Let's recap what we've explored so far. We've discussed the unique conditions necessary for life as we understand it. The right elements, the right kind of star, a planet in the habitable zone, and time for life to evolve. We've delved into the Drake Equation, a formula that attempts to estimate the number of advanced civilizations in our galaxy, and the range of possibilities it presents, from zero to millions. We've also touched on recent discoveries, exoplanets in the habitable zones around their stars, mysterious fast radio bursts, and tantalizing hints of life-friendly conditions on Mars and the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Each of these points in its own way, suggests we may not be alone. Yet, definitive proof eludes us. The universe is vast and mysterious, and our search for extraterrestrial life continues. Until then, the question remains, are we alone in the universe?